So we're here. We're here back with another uh, installment of Memory Lane, and Mom's about to tell a story, which I have never heard before, and I still haven't heard it, as a matter of fact. So myself and everyone who watches this video are going to be learning all about this for the very first time. So Mom, I asked Mom what she wanted to talk about today, and she said, "Oh, well, I said, well, maybe we'd talk about my first haircut." Okay, so so I haven't heard this story before. So so what do you remember about your first haircut, Mom? Well, I'll, I'll back up before my haircut. We moved from um, northwest, the north side of Northwest River to the south side of Northwest River. And I was um, probably four years old. So so just for clarification, north side being uh, the more um, Eskimo or Inuit dominated side and the south side being the Innu side, shall we say? Well, at that time, the Innu hadn't settled on the, the south side of Northwest River, so it was just the south side and the north side both together were called Northwest River. There was no right. definition definition between the two. Mm -hmm. um, so we were moving to the south side of Northwest River because uh, Dad's foster father, Arch Gowdy, gave him a, a piece of land which happened to be about five acres of land on the south side of Northwest River that he he had had uh, squatters rights to mm -hmm. and uh, and mom and dad decided to move there because a it, it was um, uh, it was good uh, good gardening good place for doing gardening mm -hmm. And and secondly, there weren't so many people living around, so they found the north side of Northwest River too populated. Yeah, too too busy, too bustling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the only thing I remember about that move, and I was I would have been four years old at that time. So so that so that would have been roughly around nineteen forty three. Forty. If you were four and, and you were born thirty nine, so it must have been around forty three, forty four, yeah. somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and the only thing I remember about that move is is uh, sitting on on a on a load that was piled into a rowboat, and Winton Blake was rowing the boat, and I was sitting on top of the load in in the boat going across the river. To my new home. Okay. A year later, uh, Mom was pregnant, and and she, and Bernie was born on the sixteenth of July that year, and Dad was looking after me and John because at that time me and John were the only children in the family. Uh, and uh, we were getting ready to go across the river to the hospital to see our new sister, which happened to be Bernie. And uh, I had long hair, which Mom and, and Dad, too, for that matter, uh, were very proud of. It was right down to my bum, and uh, most of the time I kept it done up in pigtails. Uh, well, Dad was getting us ready to go to the hospital. He was trying to comb my hair, and this was the days before detangler and all this kind of s lotions that you use that make it easier to comb your hair. So I guess through the rigmarole, Dad trying to comb my hair and me screeching and bawling because he was hurting me, uh, he got cross grabbed a pair of scissors and cut my hair off up to her ears. <laughs> Mom wasn't pleased. <laughs> so that, that was your first haircut, Mom? That was my first haircut. And then I didn't add insult to injury. The, the next winter, we moved back across the river so that I could go to school. And my my hair that he had cut off was hung up in the closet uh, to to keep to keep it for a keepsake. 
and I came back next spring and some somebody had broke into the house and stole my hair. Yeah. <laughs> but that was my first haircut. There you... Well, that's a good story, Mum. And, and you remember that clear as day? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great, Mum. Well, again, this that's I've never heard that story before and... Uh, you certainly never told it to me, not that I'm aware of anyway. Anyway, thanks, Mom. That's another good memory. We're going to put this where people can see it and uh, and share it and enjoy it, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Mom.